Hey guys, welcome back to Sw uh, Sworn Gaming and thanks for watching this video. In today's video, I'm going to show y'all and uh, tell you a little bit about uh, Basilisk Taming, kind of what I've learned so far. Um, I know I already did a video on where to find them, showed y'all my personal route on Aberration. Uh, but, you know, I was thinking about it, there's just some things that I've, I've learned over, over time that I don't know that anybody's ever told me that I figured that um, might be interesting to, um, you know, just the general people looking at how to tame Basilisks. So, first of all, um, just mechanics of when you're taming a Basilisk. A couple different things about the taming efficiency. So Basilisk will lose taming efficiency if they lose aggro on you during the tame. So it's real important that you keep their attention the whole time. And then also if another dino attacks them. So, um, you know, if as you're taming something comes up and or more likely they attack something and attacks them back, that will hurt your tame. Second of all, um, taming itself goes down when they attack other targets so again you want to keep um, other mobs away from them otherwise they'll actually lose tame and you'll have to use a lot more um, eggs to tame them also when dropping eggs to feed them you have to drop it from your inventory if it's dropped from the dino's inventory they will eat it but it won't give them any tame so again you'll be uh, wasting food and then i know a lot of my early tames i felt like something was going wrong with the tame because they would eat the first egg and then it would be like 10 minutes before they eat the second and that's totally normal um, it's very variable and um, <clears throat> You know, like any dino, they have to actually lose hunger before they will eat again. So, um, just a little touch on, uh, just touch a little bit on how to find them. So, you know, they're, they spawn all over the map. But I found that when I'm specifically looking for them, it's really helpful to turn my graphics down to low. Because it eliminates all the foliage and um, a lot of the detail that kind of can keep you from being able to see the basilisk mounds and on low that little um, kind of pebbly dark area around uh, where they stick out really sticks out from far away so um, if that's what you're going for i recommend you you turn down your graphics during the times when you're looking for them so once you um have your basilisk there's a couple different methods to taming them um the one that I use for most of my Basilisk taming time was I would kite them to a pen. And uh, you can see in this video, I have a friend of mine riding around on a um, Ravenger in a circle. And, you know, that's what you do. You just you get it in there, you drop the eggs down, you aggro it with the Ravenger, and uh, just run the snake in circles over the eggs. And uh, it will eventually tame up. Uh, things to be careful of, though, is you want to make sure you're wearing a biohazard helmet because otherwise you'll take damage from the green clouds um, when it hits you or you run through it. And you might even want to bring, bring a couple spare because you can go through a couple during the tame. Also, keep an eye on the torpor of your dino. Um, uh, you know, you could even bring an extra dino, but they do take some pretty uh, hard torpor if you do manage to get hit directly by their cloud. Um, and you could also use a Megalosaurus uh, to do the kiting as well. I've done that also. The other option, if you don't want to have a pin or it's not feasible based on where the uh, Basilisk is, you can also um, simply kite it in place. In that case, you're going to need to clear the area of all the mobs. I find it best to have a friend there just because other mobs might wander in during the tame. But you clear out all the uh, mobs and then put your eggs out and then again just kind of kite the uh, Basilisk in a circle. Again, I find uh, Ravager is probably the best animal for that just for its nimbleness and able to jump to avoid the, the green globs and they have good stamina management and good weight so you can carry the eggs with you when you get there. Uh, but really the, the reason I wanted to make this video was uh, a method that I recently became aware of and, and had a chance to test earlier tonight. And that is actually bringing a Megalania to Aberration. And I know it's kind of crazy because they don't have Megalania in Aberration and typically you can't bring non or animals with an aberrant counterpart to there. But for whatever reason you can. And uh, as you can see in the video... Um, the, you can use a Megalania to essentially grab aggro on the Basilisk, climb up a wall above it, and you kind of have to position yourself in such a way that you're not getting nailed by the green green globs, but um, you know, after a couple shots you can kind of figure out where that spot is. It will either hit the wall below you and won't hurt you, or it will shoot straight up, which it did once in this video. And um, yeah, it just holds aggro the whole time, the eggs are sitting right below it, and it just eats them, and then you're done. And uh, I really think that this is probably the best method that I've found so far and uh, just highly recommend it. 
Um, so as you can see in this video, we we were just doing it for taming for testing purposes. We just did a 20. He ate four eggs, uh, perfect taming efficiency, and uh, worked great. But um, yeah, if I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Here. Yeah, looks like it. At least unless he moves. Is he attacking you? Not appear to be. Amazing how um, how high up he's gone though. <laughs> Are you able to see the timing from there? No. Oh yeah, he's 25% tamed. He's hit one egg. Now I wonder since he's like that if he's gonna eat the eggs below him or not. I just eaten one. Yeah, yeah, I think he did. So level twenty is gonna take five eggs. My armor is not taking damage, it's not. <laughs> A little shine horn. Oh, the, oh, was also, uh, hmm? See another one? Mm hmm. He's 25%. Uh, well, from here, I'm really surprised he's not actually hitting you. Because he looks like he should be. Oh, I should, uh... Go. Nice. Do you want me to whistle this night? You'd be great. Thank you. It looks like he ate only four eggs. Even better. Oh, it can. GG. Yeah, this is like Rock Drake taming station right here. So, 
<laughs> That's a really funny pose when it's being held by a crab. It like bows its back. It's like floating. I need to see this. Thanks guys for checking out the video. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, we hope you'll uh, leave a comment and uh, hope you'll also check out some of the other videos we have. Thanks and have a great day.